I think we're getting close. Come on, come on, come on. We can't let them see us. Oh, here they come. So, how are you going to scare them, Ito? Easy peasy. We'll wait for them to get real close, and then we'll jump out and shout together. They won't know what hit them. Huh? What are we, a bunch of kids now? Hey, don't underestimate me. It may sound simple, but I know exactly what'll scare them. The gang's probably moping along on their way back, saying things like, this is boring, and let's go home. But it's dark, and their guard is down. Now's our chance. Having the three of us suddenly come flying out of the bushes is gonna scare them real good. Before they come to their senses, we'll already be halfway to our next ambush spot. You hear that? Someone's coming. It must be them. All right, I'll count us in. Ready? We jump on zero. Three. Two. One. Ah! Ooga, booga, booga! Uh-huh. Wait, you're not... Wait, hold on a second. <sighs> Did you see that? They were definitely not human. So all the strange rumors about the test of courage are true. Oh, what should we do? Do you think the ghosts are coming after us? <laughs> oh, Paimon. I didn't expect you to be such a baby. Hey, you want to talk? You were the first to start running. Don't make fun of Paimon. <clears throat> well, you sh you shouted ghost, so my instinct to escort you two to safety kicked in. After all, real ghosts are terrifying. My skills are completely useless against them. Oh, because I just realized that they were also running from us. Which means they were afraid of us too. And if that's the case, then there shouldn't be anything to worry about. Ha, <sighs> now that I've calmed down, I'm starting to wonder if they were actually ghosts. They might have been people dressed up as ghosts to scare us. Oh, definitely not. No, during the event, I took a little walk around the Chinju Forest and saw all the gimmicks that the Yashiro Commission had set up. Those three weren't from the Yashiro Commission, but they did seem a little familiar. Come on, let's go back there and take a look. Huh? Now you want to go back? But, but... There's still a chance that they were real spirits, right? If we go back now... They might try to eat us! Oh, it's all right, Paimon. If you're scared, you can stay here. Traveler and I will go investigate. Really? Oh, that'd be great. Oh, right! The last mystery novel Paimon bought from Yai Publishing House had a plot just like that. During the investigation, whoever said I'm not going would always be the next victim. So, uh, on second thought, Paimon's going with you. Don't you ever leave Paimon behind! Ever! Hmm, it looked like they were running that way, but it's hard to say exactly where they went, so let's split up. But then you'll be all alone, which according to the mystery novels is super dangerous! <laughs> Don't worry about me. Once my rear's in gear, I'm not afraid of nothing. Uh, Hyman has a bad feeling about this. They scared you that bad, huh? Huh, looks like they really do have a knack for spooking people. This time, I'll capture him and learn their art for scaring people. Anyway, I'll catch you around. And there he goes. Running off and talking to himself. Again. Oh, do we really have to go? Oh, fine. Let's go take a look then. But the second we see anything scary, we make a run for it. Got it?
way here. Hmm. Wonder where those three went. Paimon didn't see them anywhere. Oh, maybe Ito was right. Maybe they've been hiding. Huh. Seems like they're not scary after all. Hey! Listen up, you three little wimps! Paimon can already see you guys, so just come out and show yourselves! There's someone actually here! Paimon's scary again! <sighs> so it's just gonna be a few more days. Just... Don't do it, Chizuru. You can't give in to your desires. Others will suffer for it. You mustn't make the same mistake. Just hold on a little longer. You've already come all this way, right? Uh, excuse us. Did you happen to see three rascals pass by here? Uh, let Paimon tell you what they look like. Are you... talking to me? To... someone like me? Ah! You have no business coming here. You shouldn't be anywhere near me. If you value your lives, you must leave immediately. Otherwise, your souls will be trapped here forever. I won't warn you again. Now, away with you. Be gone. Wake up. Hey, Traveler, wake up! Thank goodness you're okay. Before we get to that, I think someone needs your attention first. person? Okay, I see. I only found the two of you passed out here when I arrived. There was no one else around. What happened? Tell me all the details. As I suspected, there appears to be something more behind this test of courage event. But let's get back to your original question. I haven't told you the reason I'm here. The truth is, I was commissioned to come here for an investigation. You were... commissioned? That's right. Some time ago, a peculiar game was discovered on the beach. A peculiar game on the beach? Oh, could it be the Akitsu Yukin game that A mentioned? Huh. So you've heard of it. The game quietly appeared some time ago and has since attracted some players. Apparently, it's very interesting. There was no one on the beach other than visitors and tourists when the game appeared. Imagine it like this. A stall suddenly appears on the street with no owner. And stranger yet, it could operate normally without anyone supervising it. People at the beach can start the game simply by talking to the bulletin board. Could it be run by ghosts? Some tourists started to say that, and the rumor began to spread, until it became a full-blown ghost story. The further that story spread, the more plausible it seemed, causing people to be unwilling to go anywhere near the beach. The Tenryo Commission wanted to close the beach in order to investigate the situation and dispel the rumors, but before they could do anything, the Yashiro Commission organized the Test of Courage event here. People that were initially scared by the rumors began to believe that the beach game was actually a preview event planned by the Yashiro Commission for the Test of Courage, so visitors have gradually returned again. But 
I'm quite positive that the game never had anything to do with the Yashiro Commission. Wait! So the Yashiro Commission were fully aware of all the spooky stuff going on, but they still decided to hold their event here? But Ayato must be one of the smartest guys we know! What the heck was he thinking?! Who knows? But I'd rather trust tangible evidence than speculate on his thoughts. As for my commission, apparently someone reported that they found themselves trapped for hours on the beach while playing the game. According to his own account, he kept returning to the same location no matter which way he went. And even though his friends were nearby, they couldn't see him. Even though it was obvious that he wasn't telling me the whole story, the testimonies of his friends did validate that what he said actually occurred. On top of that, it was also this very incident that led to all the ghost rumors. No one dared to go near the beach until the Yashiro Commission announced the Test of Courage. Who set up the game on the beach? And why did the Yashiro Commission help them cover it up? I need to uncover the truth, so I'm here to investigate. Anyway, don't mind me. Working together will only raise suspicion, so I'll undertake my own investigation for the time being. However, please proceed with caution. Based on my observations, most people are still unaware of anything happening here. Telling people that something's amiss might cause quite a stir. <laughs> 